Hello and welcome back to the Intro to Linux. This is episode three. If this is the first Intro to Linux episode you've watched, make sure to check out all the other ones. I'll have them here as annotations and I'll also have them in the description box. Moving right along. The first time, we talked about what Linux is. Episode two, we talked about the live CD and how to run it. This time we're going to talk about Wubby. And what that is, is that's actually installing Ubuntu inside of Windows. So from the last episode, you should have a live CD already, either from Canonical, from your loco team, or having download the ISO and burn it. So what you're going to do is take this live CD, stick it in your drive inside of Windows. Okay, at this point you'll notice that we've got the Ubuntu menu once I put the CD in. The options we've got are demo and full install, which is the live CD, just reboot to it and it will load up thing. Uh, you've got install inside Windows, which is Wubby, which is what we're going to do, and then learn more takes you to the Ubuntu.com website. So click install inside Windows. It's going to say your installation drive. It's not actually going to do anything to that drive other than create a small installation on it. And in this case, I'm actually even going to do smaller. I'm going to put 10 gigabytes. You've got your username, password, whatever you want it to be. We'll just set it to my name, Jordan. Default environment is going to be Ubuntu because that's what's on the disk. And install. There are some accessibility options there. I've never had to use them, but if, if you do need them, it, they're definitely there for you. All right, and the install is complete now, so we've got the option to manually reboot later or reboot now. Let's just go ahead and reboot now because I'm done with Windows. All right, and you'll notice here that you've got the choice to boot into Windows or Ubuntu. We'll go ahead and select Ubuntu. And it says completing the Ubuntu install. As you see, I haven't had to do any partitioning. I just told it how big I wanted it to be. It said 10 gigabytes, so I figured that would probably be enough. And it's going to do everything else automatically. All right, and finally we're going down for a reboot again. So you get this option again. We'll go ahead and choose Ubuntu. And so you get grep, so go ahead and choose Ubuntu there. All right, and now we're at Ubuntu, ready to log in. And from here you can do whatever you like. You can use the applications menu to install new software. You can use the existing software on the system. Whatever you want to do. You've got limitless possibilities. And whenever you're done, come up here to the top right corner. Go down to restart. Tell it yes. And when it restarts, make sure to select Windows XP to go back to, to your default Windows installation. There we go, I select the Windows. And there you go again, we are back in Windows, no problems, nothing changed, nothing lost. If you do decide that you want to keep Ubuntu, you can leave it this way. If you want to do a full install, we'll go ahead and do that in episode 4, which is coming next week. And if you decide that you don't want to leave Ubuntu on here, not a big deal. Go into your control panel. We'll switch to classic view because I hate the, the category view. Go to add or remove programs, and you see I've got Ubuntu installed. Change or remove. 
Are you sure you want to uninstall it? Sure. I don't want to, but you might want to, so there you go. Uninstallation completed. It's been completely removed. Uh, one more thing I should probably mention. If you do that uninstall and it does not remove Ubuntu from your startup list, what you can do is go into your start menu, right click on my computer, go to properties, and then select advanced, and startup and recovery settings. In here you've got, you'll see I've actually got Microsoft XP Home Edition and Ubuntu. Go into edit, and this very last line it says c colon wubbyloader.mbr equals Ubuntu. Delete that line and leave the rest alone or you will screw things up. Save the file, close it, and then reboot and it should be gone. And you see it goes right into Windows XP boot. Not a problem. And that's all there is to it. So now you've had a chance to play with it within Windows without having to change any of your partitioning or anything. And if you are done, you can just go ahead and uninstall it like I showed you. No big deal. Make sure to come back next time. We will do a full install dual boot with Windows. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.